It's the Jim Kerr Rock and Roll Morning Show on Q1043. Amazing movie actor, movie star, multiple Academy Award nominee, Jeff Bridges. You know, you've been nominated, what, how many times? Four, five? Four times. Four about times. to be five. Okay, they're saying it'll be about five. It will. And you're actually called the most underrated actor in America. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, uh, his uh, film Crazy Heart, which critics are raving about, opened at the Angelica and the Lincoln Center. Of course, it's going to open everywhere eventually. Um, And Shelley was uh, lucky enough to see it because she gets to go to the uh, movie critics screenings. Ah. Oh, and you know, and I had to vote for two critics groups. And so, you know, you're keeping your notes and I'm going to vote for this one, that one. And in the middle of Crazy Heart, I just said, okay, the vote is changing. You're a good singer, and uh, I mean, this is Thank really you. you. This is All really you. you in this in this uh, performance that people are talking so much about as Bad Blake, who's a washed up country star, mm-hmm. but a country star nonetheless. A guy who has hits that people know. Who is could just, really write? It's just that yeah, oh, his yeah. his his day as a big star has passed. He's fallen on some difficult times. Has some serious personal uh, issues to deal with and uh and there's a, a love story that's involved and there's also the relationship with uh, uh with a, a younger artist that uh, bad blake mentored who uh at the time this film takes place is you know at the top doing arenas and stuff like that right. and he was really impressive musically isn't he great he was, colin yeah, thorough was like wow yeah he came in for i think four or five days and just knocked that part out of the park i mean he was Wonderful, and and then to you know, to sing together because mm-hmm. basically uh, you know acting's all about harmonizing together mm-hmm. you know one way or another, and Colin was uh, wonderful to sing with and act with and the whole deal. But you know those situations really happen. What's that? Where the mentor finds that he's at a point in life where he's uh, surpassed mm-hmm. in fame, or, yeah. uh, and his or day has passed, and his day has passed, and there are a lot of big names. I mean, in country music, I can name a ton of them. A lot of big name country guys, older, haven't had a hit in a long time, but they're still on the road. They're still playing every night because oh, they yeah. just have to. That's right. As artists, they have to. I mean, you know, Nashville is filled with stories of artists who sure. just keep on going, like uh, your character. That's right. That's right. My big role model for me uh, was uh, Stephen Bruton, who the, the movie's dedicated to. And uh, he's an old buddy of T-Bones. They grew up together. We met 30 years ago on Heaven's Gate. And we uh, we got uh, hooked up there by uh, the star of that movie, Chris Christopherson, who was also a you know, big role model for me in this movie. Mm-hmm. And uh, meeting those guys back in, in those days, you know, Chris got all his musician friends to come and play small parts in that movie. Mm-hmm. And that was six months of jamming every night after work. So in a funny mm. way, that movie was the beginning of this one. You know? And and you know, Chris Christopherson was a janitor at Columbia Records in Nashville. That's right. Wow. He was a janitor. Didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that was his job. That's how he broke into the record business. <laughs> it's the Jim Kerr Rock and Roll Morning Show on Q1043.